Hi folks, welcome to the Wild Center. My name is Leah, I am the curator here at the museum and with me today, you're gonna to see in just a minute, is Ruth Valentine, our veterinary technician. And we are gonna be performing a little, um, a little minor procedure on our pigeon, Livia. Ruth is coming with Livia right now. So we got Livia, how long ago, Ruth? Oh, Do you remember? a couple years. Two years? Yeah. Or it was like a year this fall. Yeah. So a year and a half. We've had her. Um, she came from the local vet clinic. Someone had found her in the town of Tupper Lake. She was unable to fly, um, and the veterinarian took a look at her and couldn't figure out why, so we took her in. Um, and we've noticed a couple things over the time that we've had her. Her beak is really soft, and it breaks very easily. So right now, the top of her beak, the upper mandible, she's missing the very tip. Um, and she also breaks her toenails very easily, so she's done that. And when we first got her, she didn't fly very well, but her flight ability, we've been working on that a little bit with her, is getting better. Um, but we're unsure why the beak is like this. Could have been from a nutritional issue at a young age. Could be something genetic, we don't really know. But what we're gonna do today is try to um, form a new upper beak tip for her. Right now she has a little bit of trouble eating. Um, so she's eating certain things that she can pick up, but she's missing a lot of the preferred seeds and fruits and veggies we'd like her to eat. Um, and we want her just to be able to eat easier. So what we're gonna do today is try something. What I have done is we have a lot of feathers in our stash. Birds here at the Wild Center will drop their feathers periodically and grow new ones. So the nice thing about a feather is it is material that we can use for certain things. So when you look at a feather, this is the shaft in the middle of the feather. As a feather's first growing, there's a vein in here. And then once the feather is fully out, the vein dies back. Um, but it leaves this shaft that um, is hollow. And it's also pretty strong. It's the same thing as fingernail material or beaks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to use a piece of shaft that I've already cut. And it's kind of in the shape of a beak. It's a little hard to tell. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the end of this and try gluing it onto the tip of Livia's beak to see if we can get you know, the tip of her beak um, a little more usable so she can eat a little better. So we're gonna go ahead and try that. How's she doing? All right. Okay. So what I want to do first is, what's the story? But I want to see how much of this feather shaft I need to use, you know what I mean, before I start pouring glue out. Oh yeah. Do you want, oh yeah. So. I might have to be trained. Yeah. Let me try filing it a little and see. So the other thing that we have happening with her beak, because she broke it, very top tip, it's now starting to grow crooked. Um, we're not really sure why, but when she broke it, she may have damaged the way it grows. So, so when you damage your fingernail on a car yeah, door. Yes, like when you damage your fingernail on a car door. You know from experience, Ruth. Uh -huh. yep. So I'm gonna try to, um, right now, just file the edge of this. So instead of growing this way, I'm gonna get it a little straighter. So when I glue that feather shaft on, it'll fit better. I know. Yeah. I also am being careful because there are blood vessels in beaks and I don't wanna- Watch your yep. point towards your eye. <laughs> yep, that's why I have my thumb there. Yeah. I don't want to cause her to bleed right now. That wouldn't be good. Um, glue can be, can sting. So we don't want her in pain. So now I'm going to use a Dremel tool. Most of you probably know what a Dremel is. A Dremel tool with a small tip on it, and I'm going to try to just shave that beak a little bit more. All right, Liz. Yep, so go any further. Yeah, yeah. See? you can see the blood vessel. Yeah. yeah. So I guess that's, that's all we can do. Yeah. Sorry, girl. Yeah. So I think this is like perfect size, isn't it? Well, anyways, let's just see if this fits on there. So it's a little bit stretchy. I think I can. Okay. I don't know if you want me to hold it. Just... Right now you're just taking a measurement, right? Yeah, I'm just trying to see yeah, like where I might want to glue it. 
you know? Yeah. And then where that bottom mandible comes. Right, yeah. Which is kind of right there. Yeah. Maybe we could cut the tip off that bottom mandible. But, then to but I actually gonna... think the bottom mandible, so one of the things we did before we started this process was I just went on the internet and I looked up pictures of pigeon beaks so we could have a good reference point. The bottom mandible, I think to me, is normal. No, it's supposed to be that pointed. I think yeah. so. Like, look at it. Doesn't it? Yeah, true. It's at the top. Well, the yeah, top, top comes down a little, but I think it's, yeah. the length to me, I think looks normal. Okay. So what I want to do is just glue this on there. This is a little too long, and I'll just form that, you know what I mean? Right, yep. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to try to put some in here. Shake it. Put it in the tip. Yeah, I definitely prefer the gel. Yeah. I think it's easier you to start work to get with. all over your hands. Oh, it's gonna get all over my hands anyway. Right, but it totally is. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Any nail polish you want to do? Oh, I should have <laughs> bought some, huh? Yeah. I'm already on my hands. I can't see, so can you tell me if my hands are in the way. Nope, you're good. I'm just, let's not go in our close or her tongue. Uh, I'll get your tongue out of the way. Shoot. Get okay, tongue out of the way. You want to put that? Back? Yep, I do. dry and then drum it to shape? I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty dry. Yeah. It's pretty dry. Yeah. So I just want to let it sit for a little bit longer. All right, count to 10, honey. <laughs> so you know what, I'll take a picture. I'll stop this. Okay. Her mouth open. She doesn't like that. Okay, so we're just waiting for the glue to really firm up. It's, it's pretty firm. And what we need to do now is shape, shape that piece of feather shaft so that it's basically a beak shape. Um, I'm hoping that the feather shaft will not only allow her to eat because it'll function as a tip, but it'll take that part of her beak that's growing sideways and kind of almost form a splint that will help that beak grow straight. And eventually the beak will grow and we will just keep trimming the feather shaft down until it's her normal beak. So let's take a look at what it looks like. Oh. Oh, Close. Goodness. I know. All right, you want to calm down a minute? Yeah, you're okay. Just... So it's pretty wide on the ends right now, so mm -hmm. now I just need to trim it and shape it. Here. Right. Okay. I know. think she's getting too hot and needs a break, just let me know. Okay, I'm going to switch sizes for, for this part. Okay. That's okay. okay. I need to see the part lines up. Yeah. So, I think. tip is going to be a little too wide. Yeah. Always. Because the shaft, that's just the way the shaft is, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to try to not try to get it in there. The glamorous life of animal care. Yep. I can 
also um, Sets in five seconds. Stop. I know you've got enough of us. Yeah. We understand. Alright. I want to blow on it, but yeah, I know. that won't work. <laughs> ah, give me that. There, I'm going to put it back in. I have to have two fingers hold it.